It's really coming to something when a political leader some might describe as a soft globalist is talking about mass immigration like this. I'm specifically talking about Donald Tusk, the Prime Minister of Poland, who is essentially a creature of the establishment and despite holding some socially conservative opinions is labelled a centrist, having pushed for the expansion of the European Union and Poland's greater integration within the EU itself. But when he talks about mass migration he sounds more like Eric Zamor or Matteo Salvini. During an event to launch his centrist civic coalition's campaign, campaign for April's local elections, Tusk dropped a rhetorical bombshell. He said the brutal truth is that the quote, survival of Western civilization depends on preventing uncontrolled migration. The first and most important task of the Polish state when it comes to the situation at the border is to protect the border, including from illegal migration. He then pointed to the utter chaos being facilitated by the Biden administration's border policy. To warn of the collective plight of the Western world if we allow it to continue. Please believe me, and I say this all also looking at what's happening in the US today. This is a question of the survival of our Western civilization. We must wake up and understand that we have to protect our territory, our borders, that if we are open to all forms of migration without any control, our world will collapse. It's incredible how political leaders in major European countries described as liberal democracies now hold similar views. Stances on the threat posed by mass migration that are shared by a majority of citizens in those countries and are taking concrete steps to both stem the tide of mass migration and begin proper deportation programs. We're seeing all this unfold in Germany, Denmark, even Sweden. Yet in the United Kingdom, where we've had a supposedly conservative government in power for 14 years. Under their watch, mass migration has accelerated beyond all recognition. Why, when a clear majority of the population steadfastly oppose mass migration, do we not only continue to be subjected to it, but are deprived of having a single tenable political entity to choose to vote for to stop it? We just imported nearly 800,000 net immigrants in a single year. And we're going to have to build 10 new cities the size of Birmingham by 2050 just to accommodate them all on current projections. When Olaf Scholz and Donald Tusk's views and policies on mass migration look far right in comparison to the utter mess the Tories have presided over, a process Labour will likely just maintain or even intensify. It only serves to underscore how devoid we are in the UK of an actual, real political opposition. <laughs> If you value what I do and you want to help support me, please visit pauljosephwatson.locals.com and either pledge a one-time donation or subscribe to join my community, get early access videos and message me directly. And exclusive live streams coming soon too. Promise. Check out the Locals link down in the description. And don't forget to take a look at the brand new website, modernity.news. That's where you'll find all my content, including exclusive articles. That's modernity.news. <laughs> Thank you.